I'm Abby Sanarski. This is the Waukesha West cheer team. Operation Football Week 5 starts now. Steph Sun, let's go to the videotape. Thank you, cheerleaders. That was fabulous. And welcome to week five of Operation Football. We kick off with our game of the week, a non-conference showdown between Waukesha West and undefeated Menominee Falls. Indians trying to keep their perfect season alive. Let's head to Waukesha. West having homecoming this weekend, and there are your king and queen. Wolverines have plenty to celebrate early on in this game, too. Running back Kyle Hubbard goes right and keeps rolling. A 35-yard touchdown run, he gone. Wolverines up 7-0. Still first quarter, West goes to the air. Quarterback Burks Blount hits Dan Kajawa for a 30-yard strike. West crushing 14 zip and they're not finished yet. They find the end zone again in the first quarter. This time is Devon Ports. Happy homecoming for West. They hand the Indians their first loss of the season, the final 35-6. Other side of Waukesha, the North Star Band, shiny bright at halftime in a classic eight battle against Arrowhead. Warhawks up 21-7 at the half, and Arrowhead strikes again in the third. Quarterback Tommy Darrow throws one deep to Carter Gilmore, and check it out. Gilmore fumbles it, but Luke Peterson picks it up in the end zone for the touchdown. Arrowhead now up 28-7. The North Star is trying to hang in there. Shamir Dyke with the touchdown run for Waukesha. But the North Star is not shining bright in the end. They fall to Arrowhead 31 to 28. To a Woodland East battle between Whitnell and Greenfield. The Greenfield band firing up the homecoming crowd early in the second quarter. The toss goes to Nate Valcarcel. He breaks through the line, cuts right, and he's gone. 47 yards, diving into the end zone to give Whitnell the 7 0 lead. Still in the second, Caleb Strada rolls left, looking looking and finally fires a perfect strike to chase Kajawa in the corner of the end zone for an 18-yard touchdown, rooting the Falcons up by 14. The Falcons win this battle of the birds. They fly over the Hawks 26-7. Over in Franklin, a Southeast Conference matchup between Kenosha Indian Trail and Franklin has the crowd jumping. Six minutes left in the third quarter. Quarterback Miles Burkett rolls right and finds Elliott Harris over the middle. Forget about it. No one's going to catch the Franklin Jr. He takes it 68 yards, and the Sabres go up 14 to 0. On to the fourth quarter. Burkett calls his own number, fighting his way in for a three yard touchdown. To Franklin wins 23 0. Down in Lake Geneva, Badger hosting Burlington. Badger making a comeback in the second half. Cole Gabor, the big run up the middle, a 22 yard touchdown. And the Badgers are trailing by three, and they take the lead in the fourth, but the Demons didn't go down without a fight. From the 12 yard line, quarterback Dalton throws one high in the corner to Dylan Runkle, who makes the reception, and that is your game winning touchdown. A high scoring affair there. Burlington beats Badger tonight 40 to 37.